All right, y'all, check it out. Somebody left us a little something, something back here, man. A little leaf strings. I'll take it, man. All right. Yeah, they left that back here for us. Didn't throw it in the dumpsters. We ain't got to jump in to get it. Yeah. All right. Woo. Yeah. Anyways. All righty, guys. Here we are. Another episode. Dumpster diving. Awesome sauce. I'm trying to make a living. Uh, appreciate y'all tagging along, man. Hope we have a good evening. Weather's nice. A couple days now. Haven't had any uh, real rain. So, you know. Go rock it. Rock it. Anyways. Y'all like my little hangover buckets? I got three of them back here. Put a little uh, screw right in the middle. Keep them from blowing out. It's a little uh, wing nut screw. Uh, so if I have to, you know, I got stuff coming in and if I have to remove them, got it. So we're gonna try it out, see if it works. I mean, I hope it does. If not, I mean, I still got some buckets. All right, y'all. Let's get it. <clears throat> Oh yeah, what's up buckets? Oh, what we got here? Something metallic. Oh. More of that water hose that can be, you mistake it for copper if you don't know what you're looking at. Then you grab it and you really know it ain't copper. What the heck is this? Siemens building technology. It's definitely aluminum. Housing. Is that a lock for a door or something? I don't know, man. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. My bucket of stuff, man. There's a piece of wire down there. Let's see. Is it a big piece of wire? Is it big? No, oh, it's not that big. There we go, though. Numero uno. Puto. All right, yeah. All right, big blue, open top. Ooh, look at that. Got here, man. Still in the package. Surge protection. Back there. What is all of this ish? This stuff looks new. Whatever it is. Piece of aluminum right there. Huh. Hot cheeky. Yeah, look at that, man. All this crap in the box still, huh? Let's see here. Look at that. It's like brand new in the package, man. All right, let's see what we got here. Let me just grab this whole box. Oh, there's a box in here. A metal box. Let's see what we got here. Must be like extra. Oh, geez. Let's see here. Must be like extra parts. And an in use, an in use cater. What? That thing looks new. Let's get it. All right. FireNet Plus expander card. Take that. Grab all that. Low frequency horn. Okay. All right. There's another one of them boxes here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's something fancy. It's wrapped in pink. It's a little firebox of some sort. Say what? Throwing this crap in the trash? 
There's another one. Grab that. Ugh. All this stuff right here, man. It's like new stuff. New stuff. That's what's in those little boxes. Ooh. Rock and roll, man. I'll take that. Yeah, baby. All right. All right. Oh. What's up, pine needles? Box. Lots of pine needles. Oh. This wire. Is that a motor box? Is that? Is it? It is. Look at that old motor. Motor. I dig it. All right. Oh yeah, no thanks. There are wires and a motor and such. Bucket here. Throw that up there. Yeah. Dumpster. Ooh, I see a wire right there. There's a wire right there. Put that back there. Yeah, right here, man. Got some crap. Take the scrap. More wire. Oh, it don't smell that right in here. Put that back there. Some wires here. Just some power cord. Another power cord. Cleaned out the desk. Anything good? Some milk duds. A rule. Buddy, 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 buddy. What's up there? Oh, there's four wires down at the bottom there. Let's see here. In this box. Come to Papa. More ish. More ish. Moesha. Little cat wire here. Over on this side over here now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> what this is? That says Dell. I don't know what that is. It's a little Dell box. A little Dell box. Okay, I don't see a whole lot more. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking, huh? It doesn't say. Sweet! Dell. What's up, Neil? Got up in here, man. There's something in that box. It's all taped up. Y'all wanna take a peek? Y'all wanna take a peek? See what we got in the box? <laughs> What's in the box, man? Oh, I see a lot of plastic. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that looks like maybe. Maybe. I don't know what the heck. Definitely something scrappable. I see metal power cord. AC 
Whew. It's got a little weight to it, that's for sure. All right, hold on. Close my door real quick. Bang it. All right. Let's see what's, what was in the box, man. Ugh. Is Nevian. I see a lot of good stuff. Huh. All right, scrap. Yeah. Huh. Oh, I see wires. Snibbits, dog. I see the snibbits. See what we got here. A little toad here. Ooh, berries. I see berries, y'all. I like berries. Um, this is a little bit bigger than what we got here. I thought it was bigger stuff in the back of the truck. Smaller snibbits in here. It's bigger crap. Back there. All right. Take it, baby. Take it. Take it all. What the heck is that? I don't know. It looks pretty awesome. It looks pretty awesome, so we'll take it. Take some awesomeness. It's the smallest knife in the world. Snibbish there. A little bit, not a whole lot. There, big old piece of wire right there. Somebody's lunch. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Right on. Snippets. Uh, rock and roll. All right. Ooh, that went. Oh. Hello. Hello. It's me. I see, man. I see you. I see you. I see you. Scrap. I see you. I see you. Look at that man, tools! Tools in the trash. There's a toolbox right here. Look at that big old drill bit, man. Yikes. All right, let's see. Let's just start tossing the Back in the truck. Back in the truck, back there, back there. Man, that's junk. That must have to jump out. Grab it anyway, though. Clean it up. Clean it up. Decent little toolbox, man. There. There's a nice piece of scrap. Sure call. Uh -huh. Fusion for home max. Oh yeah, and then that uh that little Nevian thing. Ay ay ay. I'll grab these. Little bit of scrap. That Nevian thing, I looked it up. It is, it's, it's a tankless water heater. I wasn't 100% sure. It's all this. It kind of looked like one to me, but like, I haven't really, I mean, that's the second one I think I've ever found. And uh, the last one I opened, you know, when you look inside, it was all like, uh, uh, what is this crap? Uh, copper. That looks like it's some sort of coated copper. There's another one of those guys. Mostly just junk. So yeah, that's a definite good find, man. I love tanks water heaters. Although, like I said, that's a, that's the second one I found. The first one, though, I took it apart, man. I made made some money, dude. That thing's got some copper in it. What is that, a Slim Jim? 
It's a whole pop a lock kit. Auto lockout, universal. It's a whole kit. Oh, hope I don't get stopped by the po po. They're gonna be like, what you doing with all this, man? You stealing? You robbing? It's like, nah, man, I'm just out doing my thing, dog. Just scavenging. Just scavenging. All right. Little bit here. God, there's not much in these boxes, man. There's really not a whole lot to be had there. Just saying. I'm kind of hesitant about grabbing them. Right there's a little, uh, let's see. Cat wire there. There. Okay. Yeah, this thumb's are initially look better than... God, not all that great. Not all that great. But we got, we got some stuff. All right. Ooh. Between my legs. All right. Oh, shh. Gotta get this blessed, bro. All right, toolbox. Let's go. We got up in here, y'all. Dad. Look at that! Oh, we got a pooter! Uh, upside down. Let's see here. There goes another pooter. Ah! Yeah. I've never really seen any like that before. Got like a handle on the top of uh, monitor. There. Look at that! And they left the hard drives in them. I say what? What kind of computer is that? It says it's a server 2003. That's an old one. A Soyo. Soyo pooter. Soyo. Oh, yeah. That's HP Compact. Got the hard drive in it. Nice, dude. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Get that old scale. Yeah, these old printers. Oh, there's that. We all know. Yard told me don't be bringing printers. More pooters. A monitor here. Tatling. And I'm gonna just back the truck right up here, load it up. A little, work a little bit smarter. Let's see here. Ugh. All these big old monitors. Old school monitors. What the heck is that? Sense mod. There. The piece of that computer. All right. All right. It's in the box. See what's in the box. It's in the box. Oh, just old paperwork. Old paperwork. Old printers, old monitors. Let's hop up in there real quick. Take a quick little peek. Right. Some wires and such. There we go. There we go. 
Man. Come on. That's crazy, these old monitors have a cord attached to them. What the heck is that? Osborne Computer Corporation. Is that a computer? Hold up. That looks pretty interesting. Actually. Alright. Get over here. Monitor. There goes something down here. Cord! Yeah. You can see a radio. It's a transceiver. Man, there's a box down here. That's got a bunch of stuff. Over here. Uh, another battery back up. Let's get the batteries in it. Let's grab that box. Grab that box. Typically I'd cut the cords, but I'll pass on the we won't do that today. We'll be nice just in case somebody wants these big old monitors. I doubt it, but you know. We'll be nice. We'll be nice. Alright man, it's looking legit. Old scanner. Alright, dude. Shit. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Sounds empty. A little empty. There's a uh, motor, of course, it'd be way in the back. Looks like a little temperature gun. Oh. Of course, it'd be way in the back. Alright, y'all, let's hop up in here. <sighs> <laughs> All right, second motor of the night, dog. Definitely dig it. All right. No capacitor. Grab it. Don't tell me this thing works. Look at that, it works. It's on my AC unit. My AC vent, 70. Dotty, 89.5. Look at that, I have a temperature gun. It's got a laser on it. 70. Seems like the AC should be a colder than that. Why would someone throw that away? And for a gun style thermometer. I'm 84, I must be dead. Sweet. <laughs> Wait! Yeah! Who throws crap like this in the trash? Alright. Don't have the other motor. Right here with my box of stuff. Try to be a little organized, but you know, sometimes it just is what it is, man. Oh yeah! What's up, Scrap? Scraptastic. Lights. Lights up in here, man. These big old lights, man. Yeah. Big old transformer right here. Whew. So much for being organized, right? 
It's just the nature of the beast. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Let's see what we can do. Man, there's glass everywhere. Gonna watch out for the glass! That's a good stuff right there. And it just keeps coming. I think that's aluminum too. Well, that's got some heavy gauge, heavy gauge wire in that sucker. Yeah, this one's gonna be a little tricky if I have to get in. There's a lot of broken glass on. Huh? I'm still rehabbing my leg, you know what I mean? I don't wanna go get cut right up again. Oh yeah. This one's over here. Gotta take it from this side. Back there. The bag full of stuff. Electrician's trash bag. I like electrician's trash bags. They throw away awesome stuff. Alright, let's see what we can fish out of here. Fish that out. There. Definitely want to get all this. Oh, good money right there. Good stuff. Lots of good You know what? I think we may be able to. I think we may be able to make it happen. Just gotta be careful. Don't try this at home, kids. Definitely don't try this at home. Just watch. Big old lot. Get all that awesomeness there. There. We got wires over here. Ballast. Wires. Get that wire, man. You want it? Gotta get in and get it. Get in and get it. All right, well this night is definitely better than the last one. Last one kind of sucked, but I posted anyway and I appreciate y'all sticking with me through the good and the bad. All right, I think we got the, I think we got the most of it. Let's get out of here before something bad happens. All right, all right. Watch your head. All right. Oh. Scrap. Oh, oh, excuse me, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anything up in here tonight, y'all? Oh, check that out with my little cat wife. Coming. Yes, sir. We got a box here with some cat wire. See how much we got? How much? How much? Oh, is the cat wire in the window? Let's see. Not a, not a whole lot in there. Not worth taking the whole box, that's for sure. 
So we'll go ahead and grab that. Grab my kitty cat wire now, yeah. Whoa. Get all wrapped up in the wire and set. There's a little nibbit. Please grab the little guy. Ooh, looks like there's some stuff in here. All right, we're going in. All right, hold your breath. Cool. All right, cat wire. More cat wire. More cat wire. More cat wire. Guess what I'll be taking to the scrapyard tomorrow. More cat wire, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. All right, man. I get super excited. A little too excited sometimes. Good. Get so excited, dribbling the pants a little bit. Oh, rock cowabunga, bro! <laughs> all righty scavengers good morning how's everybody doing as you can see i'm doing pretty well sitting pretty tight uh i'd say a pretty darn successful evening out there getting some stuff in the urban jungle last night uh got our fill of scraps resale and all kinds of stuff in between anyway so yeah we got our computers over here got five of these guys old school computers I'll have the hard drives in them. Good stuff right there. This guy right here, probably the absolute highlight of the trip. It's this Osborne Computer Corporation. This morning I was kind of looking around. And uh, this looked like it's an old school personal computer from the 80s. Anybody recognize these? I do. Uh, it says 83 on this sucker, man. 83. <laughs> And it's amazing like this thing could probably only hold just a few pictures compared to like the crap we have today that's the real floppy dicks right there man <laughs> that's crazy but anyways i plugged it in and check this out y'all we we'll turn her on so yeah this is like a little like portable personal computer i guess this would have been like considered like a laptop or or whatever of the day let's see yeah here it comes it's taking a minute to warm up. I don't know if y'all can see. Uh, this is probably Apple's competitor back in the 80s. The early 80s. So, the screen comes on. Barely. says uh, Osborne System 1, 1982, revision 1.3. says pr insert disk in drive A, press return. I'm guessing this is going to be drive A. hit return the light came on oh it's saying boot air boot air boot air it just keeps reading boot air boot air so do we just eject it or i don't know how to do that i don't know i don't know so it looks like something's happening let's see if we stick something in here Escape maybe? Escapi? Yeah, so you can hear it running, but it's got boot air, boot air. It's probably like, I mean, crazy old. But the fact that it powers on, probably probably shouldn't even shut it off like that. Uh, does it just come out? I guess so. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy right here, man. Absolutely crazy. Old school computer. It looked like there actually is a market for these old computers here too. And the fact that it works, there could be some connoisseur out there that'd be interested in it. It's not an old Apple, but it, I mean, it's definitely like, and it just, you know, it folds up like a suitcase. You carry it with you. <sighs> the original laptop right there, man. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, super cool right there. Uh, we got lots of scrap back there, lights. Um, uh, so we got here. Looks like a microphone stand we pulled out of the dumpster with all the computers. That looks like a microphone stand. I'm guessing this cat right here is a soldering iron. 
maybe. Door set electronics, maybe not, maybe not. It says frequency 133.500. Door set electronics. I'm gonna have to look that up. I was thinking maybe a soldering iron, but now I'm thinking not so much. Definitely have to look that up, see what we got there. Got our infrared gun, as we saw, works. It says I'm 118 degrees Fahrenheit this morning, which is not good. Maybe that's why they tossed it out. It's acting up now. Now it's reading. 118 that's probably why it was in the trash it was working fine last night but now it's definitely all out of whack all out of whack ah shoot oh well oh well i thought i had something cool uh we got our box over here full of fire stuff this is all brand new crap guys this uh surge protector right here this dtk 120 hw these are about 50 bucks a pop okay uh let's see here this guy right here same thing about 50 bucks it's a honeywell bg12 lo it's a uh, fire a, a pull fire alarm brand new in the packs the only thing i'm thinking is because i was kind of behind a, a newer building and i'm guessing that they uh they were doing an install and they had extra parts let me see here uh, this stuff over here, these are these uh, input monitor modules. These are like, God, I want to say these were like a hundred bucks, like a hundred bucks a piece. We got a handful of those. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, low frequency horn. I mean, that's new in the package right there. I think I looked that up. That's probably like 50, 60 bucks. These are the expensive guys right here. We'll pull these out. Let's see here. This right here, I think this was uh, well up into the few hundred dollar range. It's a serial and you could, could and an enunciator. Enunciator, that's it. Okay. It's a serial enunciator. Uh, Hichoki, Hichiki, Hachiki, the American Corporation. Uh, fire alarm stuff. But I mean, it's it's new, bro. It's even got the control panel keys and clothes. New stuff. Same thing right here. I think this this cat was like a thousand bucks. This is what's in this big box down here. This thing was like a thousand bucks. It's a fire alarm control. I mean, and it also it has the the keys with it crazy the crap that these people just toss right out an expander card probably goes with all this other stuff i didn't look that one up the fnp 1120c slc new in box all this stuff new in box got a bunch of these though these uh dcp dimm the input modules like i said those are like 100 bucks a pop we got some here let's see and see, there's another, there's that, that's the box, man. The alarm box. <sighs> yeah, we got some of those there. Uh, got some up here. These cats right here, they don't look new or any, anything, but that's going to be aluminum right there. So you can clean that up, uh, get the clean aluminum off of it, or you'll be able to scrap it out as uh, breakage, aluminum breakage. This guy right here, uh, I looked it up. I think it's called a Thunder Thunderbolt, a Dell Thunderbolt. It's a docking station for like office stuff. Uh, more of this crap over here, the fire alarm stuff. We just got a whole, a whole mess of it. A little toolbox over there, some junk wire here and there, some lights, clean those up. Looks like the uh, bottom part where the transform is at looks like to be cast aluminum. Got some uh, BX over there with some number one in it. A little electrician's trash bags and snippets but all in all man rock and roll super successful evening super super successful evening but anyway scavengers that's going to do it on this episode of dumpster diving i've got a little bit of work cut out for me get it cleaned up you know uh scrap run maybe maybe i don't know uh but yeah get got my work cut out for me 
like I said, get it all cleaned up, this and that. But like I said, that's going to do it on this episode of Dumpster Dive, guys. As uh, always, it was a total pleasure. Appreciate y'all tagging along. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your peeps. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, got it, check it out. Go uh, follow, I guess that's what you do on the Insta. Uh, merch, appreciate that, guys. Extra special shout out to everybody that bought some. If y'all are interested, down below, Teespring, get y'all some stuff, t-shirts, stickers, what have you. Go there, help support the scavenger. And a uh, extra special shout out to uh, everyone and all your warm uh thoughts and comments about the uh, pooches that we just uh we just fostered we just brought in uh earlier this week we brought them in from a shelter it was a uh, a high kill shelter they literally had one day left so we were able to save them there they're inside just resting sleeping poor babies you know they didn't we got them home they didn't even know uh how to act i don't think they've ever been inside uh we did have a couple of kennels set up we, when as soon as they came in they both went right into their kennels like they knew exactly what they were doing uh, we had, you know, big old dog bed laid out, and uh, it, I swear, they had no idea what a dog bed was. They're not house trained. Uh, I mean, they just look like they've just been outside and neglected all their life, and, uh, you know, bred to no end uh, so much. I mean, she's got the big old, biggest ninis. You know, you can just tell that they bred them and dumped them, and uh, it's really sad. So, yeah, we got them picked up. They're inside resting, like I said. Um, let's see, Patricia. Uh, of the two, she's the one in the better shape. Uh, uh, nothing really wrong with her other than her age. And, you know, she's got some, you know, some eye issues when we're working with that. It's uh, Selma that uh, she's got really bad arthritis in the hips. And we found out that she's also um, a heartworm positive. Uh, so we're going back to the vet next week to do some x-rays of her chest and see what we can do there um hopefully we can get this you know fixed up squared away hopefully i mean they are senior dogs they're you know you know just hope for the best y'all but uh, i want to thank everybody for all the thoughts and comments and the uh the few donations that came in there's been a couple of people that uh sent some monetary donations appreciate that but uh if y'all really want to help out go to austin bulldog rescue that's austin like as in the you know austin texas that's where they're based out of. They have a website. I know they've got an Instagram uh, on there. That's where, um, if y'all want to donate to help out, that's where they're accepting the donations. Being that we're fostering the uh, rescue at the moment is paying all the medical bills and everything. So uh, it'd be best if anybody wants to help out and donate, just go ahead and donate there. Uh, you know, it goes towards, you know, getting them some toys and food and stuff like that. I mean, although like, the wife and I, we have no problem, you know, supplying these things. We had two bull, two bulldogs that we just recently passed, you know, within the past year. And so, you know, we've got, you know, we're set up for this. We're totally set up for this. Um, but, you know, it's great that the uh, rescue wants to come in and, and do all this. So, uh, like I said, if y'all are interested, uh, go check them out. Austin Bulldog Rescue. Give them a thumbs up. You know, follow on Instagram if you got it. Tell them Mike sent you. Uh, but, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway. All right, I'm just over here rambling on and on and on. Uh, all right, guys, well, y'all take care. Have a lovely day. Uh, yes. Yes. Peace. What we got here, y'all? Go scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. Oh!